All right, I discovered this about an hour ago. I came here from another channel to cut a long story short. What they had, I actually typed that keyword in my search box. Then one thing leads to another. I was checking the whole channel out to see what all there was. And there is a good bit of VHSC stereo material. This description is in German. Now as you can see here, it's super descriptive. Wanted to see what this looks like, what I got highlighted over here. And this is what I came back with. Yeah, that looks awesome if you ask me. It's a neat camcorder design. It's kind of unique if you ask me. Different looking. Though that kind of looks similar to what I found on eBay. I was randomly looking for VHSC camcorders made by Panasonic. I'm selecting only the ones that are in hi-fi stereo because as I've said before I'm a stereo file. This is the PV362. I think I may have came across this sucker previously. This is what the camcorder looks like. I don't know if it's just me. I think that maybe I think that may look like the NVMS95. Nope, it actually looks kind of different. Although for a camcorder that was made in 1992, it kind of looks like the uh, Canon XL2, I think it's called. Let me load it up here. Yeah. It kind of look alike. The reason I was searching that up was because I was coming over here from this video. Originally, I typed in Panasonic VHSC, and I see stuff like this come up. Watch this. anni fa 1982 I don't even know what the guy's saying of course I understand he's speaking uh, Spanish but when you see a box in the beginning of the video and you see the brand name something random like what's being viewed on TV. That's how you know it's a test video. This guy actually used the video camera for about 16, 17 years. Like you got videos like this over here. Hold on, huh? Then I'll cut tight. So. And the videos aren't, and the videos are not in hi-fi stereo because, uh, the Panasonic NVS7 was a stereo based camcorder and from this guy we just get uh, monophonic sound either that or one-sided audio like left side only right side only all that stuff oh and the battery's going dead Hey, sorry about that. My battery was going dead and I had to get a new one, but anyway. I wanted to see what the Panasonic NVS7's stereo sound would sound like. For real, for real. And then I found this on here. Of course, uh, this guy always has some type of working camcorders. Geo Frasa Geo. I think he might be Spanish, but that doesn't really matter. 
we go over here to this test video and here we have some video from the Panasonic NVS7 in original stereo sound and this guy over here said great sound I had the Grundig model and then here's what the description translates to it's in German Google Translate digitized from VHSC cassette with Panasonic NVS7 camcorder was still in working condition and it was sold on eBay coming back to this camera which said it was working and all that good stuff seller does not accept returns all of our items ship in three days or less from a smoke-free home I don't know if you're seeing that good but it says it was made in May 1992 each time it's saying it's two viewed per hour I wonder who else keeps viewing this sucker besides me <laughs> I kind of see myself getting this thing, kind of don't. But if another guy wants to take it, then may as well let him or her because I already have a lot. Let's look up Panasonic NVS7, see what all eBay has to offer. Oh, here we got a real cheap offer over here. Untested. Seller does not accept returns. Slight cosmetic wear. Handheld camcorder made in Japan. That was kind of a poor description. Ah, here we go. We have someone selling the camera from Germany. I think that first guy I discovered the camcorder off of and the second are both from Spain. Let's see what's the guy's name again? Oh, that that ain't it. That ain't it. Let's go back to the Pompilio Rampana. Here we have another person from Germany. The other two were from Spain. Let's see what this translates to. The item worked perfectly until the end. If this doesn't work, I will take it back within seven days for a refund of the purchase price. I'm seeing a good bit of Panasonic camcorders. They're really holding up well for being made in the early 1990s. Although, I have heard that with the Sony CCD TR51, the capacitors started to get a solid base within the capacitor, so it's less chance of 
being defective. Of course, there are a good bit of TR-51s with uh, defects in them. Of course, by 1994, the defects have started to become very little. This kind of shows the camera working. This shows the tape being loaded up. Some more VHS Check out when this was from. Yeah. Using a 10 year old camcorder in 2003. And this is what it looks like. See what year was it from exactly? Hold up. When was it from? Done got no freaking actual year on here. Oh, I was wrong. It was actually a nine year old camcorder. 1994. When the bad capacitor era came to an end. So it makes sense that it would still work today.